Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lutfi Rakan from Department of Civil Engineering, and I'm here to present my PhD research in three minutes. Think of a world covered with concrete everywhere, city roads, highways, airport runways, parking lots. In large cities, we cannot even find soil. So how the water falling from rainfall and snowfall are supposed to reach the soil through this concrete junk? We can design a drainage system and pass the water to the rivers or lakes, but that doesn't fill up the groundwater level from where we are lifting up millions of gallons of water every day. We have a solution, and that is porous concrete. Porous concrete is a special kind of concrete with very little or no fine aggregate at all. That allows the porous concrete to have large pores or voids inside through which water can pass through and reach the soil. So why we are not using this porous concrete vastly around the world? Because porous concrete has strength and durability issues, and my research is to strengthen the porous concrete by including fiber into it. I could have used chemicals to strengthen the porous concrete, but as this concrete will be exposed to environment and water will pass through it, using a chemical was not an option for me. Concrete has a tendency to crack when load is applied on it. Fibers can block those crack propagation and thus can prevent the damage. So the question was, what kind of fiber should I use? There are thousands of fibers in the market, and I could not just buy them all and test them one by one. To solve that problem, I decided to create a computer model that can replicate the lab experiments in the computer. In order to get in a real scenario, I took a microscope and went inside the porous concrete to take photographs. After analyzing those small-scale photographs, I was getting a better idea on how the pores are distributed inside the concrete. Then I did the fiber pull-out test. I pulled out fiber from the concrete to find out how strongly the fibers can be attached with the concrete. Based on the results I got from image analysis and fiber pull-out test, I improved my model. Now all I need is the properties of different, different fibers and put them in my model and run it. The fiber that gives the best result in terms of overall concrete strength, I can now work with that single fiber and do extensive laboratory and field testing. The next phase of my research is to do fiber treatment. The idea is to make the fiber surface a little bit rough so that it can bond with the fiber better. I grew up in a densely populated city of a third world country. I have seen how, uh, I, I have seen the scarcity of uh, water due to lower groundwater levels, and at the same time, I have seen how only a 15 minutes of rainfall can cause flash flooding due to poor drainage system. If I can come out with a strong and durable porous concrete through my research, I can, it can be used throughout the world by the engineers to solve those problems. Not only in large cities, but also it can be used in cities like Fargo, where your car tire may slip or skid if the water of the afternoon rainfall stays on the road, and in the evening, the temperature goes below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Just think of that. Thank you all for your support and patience.